Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. My video today from Destro Reborn. Passport sisters trapped in Saudi Arabia. She drugged her husband to escape? What? Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Ask you that. Ciao. It's Chow Time. Black American women are matching with Middle Eastern men. Hmm. Yep. And okay. not only are they matching, but they're getting married too, which is fine. You know, like people are people. Um, but my cousin was actually one of those um, black women who got married to a man from the Middle East. Uh -huh. Plot thickens. Her husband at the time was from Saudi Arabia. And so my cousin met him when she was in the military. They fell in love. They got married. And eventually she followed him back to Saudi Arabia, where he's from. She also brought her cousin, not sorry, her son from a previous marriage. This sounds so good. That sounds like a bad idea to be marrying someone from Saudi Arabia when you have a child already from another man. Let's check this out. Arius, don't you agree? The gods have smiled upon this Saudi man, for he has secured a military side chick. Uh oh, I mean, noble, <laughs> respectable woman of the people, slash single mother, a top tier recruit from the passport girl sisterhood. Maybe he enjoys playing with the C-section scar and Ooh. the stretch marks another man has left. As a matter of fact, why do we not talk more about the great successes of the passport sisters? <laughs> <laughs> You're setting us up for something. Flashback. Again, American men are the nicest, most doting, the most simpy men out there. So when women go out to other countries or get men from other countries, they're not as nice as us. Heck. I'm just realizing, why doesn't anyone talk about passport girls? So no one's talking about passport girls because it's a thing for girls too. Women been doing it for years. They go to different countries and they find potential husbands and they bring them back and the rationale behind it is what and they bring them back i don't know very many women that find husbands and bring them back is that they feel like the men in these other countries take care of them more they care about their emotional needs they cook as well they clean as well Boo. Shit. so they're like hey might as well i go to colombia i go to jamaica I go to a country in Africa, I go to South Korea, I go to the Philippines and get these men and they're better partners. A few moments later. And, you know, she was feeling some type of way because she was also pregnant and he didn't want her to leave Saudi Arabia. So he took her passport. Ay, caramba! <laughs> oh, no! Nuts. And also he was like, hey, you're pregnant now, so I want to get another wife at least my needs can be fulfilled whatever yes mm -hmm. they're better they're nicer treat you better equals and <laughs> that fully provide for a single mother should also have additional why and maybe a few concubines i mean that sounds pretty fair to me fair. remember you don't want a western man and you scoff at going 50-50 on the bills. Mm -hmm. So you should have no issue being a sister wife, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why waste your time on a quote-unquote dusty, 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 dusty? To these dusties, okay? Broke man that makes 60 to 90,000 a year when you can just share your husband. Yeah, so strong, so independent. <laughs> I mean, most women are okay with this. I guess this particular one was not. <laughs> she was shocked and disgusted and couldn't believe it when he moved her and her son to the basement. <laughs> he moved her to the basement of their house, okay? And he was preparing like the first and second floor for his new wife. You know, trying to impress the new wife's family. I mean, was the basement that bad? Did you not have AC, Wi-Fi, and your own bathroom? <laughs> Never forget, these American dusties want to bring you to the Cheesecake Factory. To the last dusties, for me. Last for me. okay? We all know that a basement room for you and your child isn't as bad as a Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> so my cousin, she was freaking out. And she was just like, I need to get out of here. But he took my passports. 
This place is like threatening my son too. He can't even walk down the street without people um, being really disrespectful to him. And um, her son was going through it. Like he wanted to go back to the States. He didn't like how he was treated. And it was very traumatic as a kid, like having stuff thrown at you because of the color of your skin. And yeah, so somehow she got into contact with the American embassy and they're like, hey, if you can get your passport and like a chaperone to the airport, we can jet you out of here. Wait a minute. Maybe I've been misled. This is starting to sound like an episode of Locked Up Abroad. Right? This doesn't sound like the saga of passport bros. This doesn't sound like poached eggs and French toast in the morning served to you while she's wearing your white Oxford shirt. Yeah, some passport bros get used for their money, but you got used for your womb. How much higher are you on the pay-for-play hierarchy mm. than the infamous Dubai porta potty escorts? <laughs> I mean, just think about it. Think about it. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, we're used for our money, and they're used for their womb. Think about it. Think Same. So my cousin pretended to be good with her husband again. She pretended like she didn't have a problem with him getting married to another woman. You know, serve them tea, whatever, just like being very wifey, okay? And one day, um, she put Benadryl or some sleeping powder or something like to make him really drowsy, knocked him out. <laughs> and she got, she was able to get her passports and other paperwork. Her son was like her chaperone because he was, he, he looked like a man, he was pretty tall. And they made it to the airport. The American embassy took care of them. And now she's back in the States. And she never, ever wants to go to a Muslim country. And she never wants to go to an Arab. Or and they all want to go to Dubai for some reason. Mm -hmm. Middle Eastern country at all because of the extreme racism that they experienced there. And how she had her rights taken away as a woman. Um, she had her twins. Okay, she had her babies and her ex-husband tried to find her, reach out because he wanted to see the kids too. And he didn't think that he did anything wrong. Um, I don't know, like, where she, she technically didn't in their culture. That is part of their customs is, yeah, if he wants another wife, he can. You just have to deal with it. She is now exactly. Um, but last time I heard, she's doing really great with her children. And yeah. So <laughs> people don't want to hear this story. I think I have made a video about this before and um, folks are like, uh, uh, that's not true. But yes, it's true. No, I can see that happening. Saudi Arabian men are a little bit different than American men. Just a little. It's true. And <laughs> that's why, you know, I love different cultures, but the Middle East for a black person is not safe. It seems men of all cultures don't value Western women with kids. Interesting, mm. especially when there were younger, more traditional women available. I wonder if the insults were not focused on her race, but rather that she was a single mother that divorced her husband. Her husband. Are Arab men open to marrying women with a child? I'm a non-Arab woman with a daughter. I never married because my ex was abusive. I value Aaron men for their culture and the way they care for women. But I worry they wouldn't take me seriously. Yes, we are. Arab men don't consider anything wrong with marrying a woman who already has children. Only you might not be the first or sole wife. Also, if your child was conceived outside a marriage, it is likely that there will be trust issues. And even if he wants to marry you, his family may be against it. Mm. Extra marital mm. sex is generally frowned upon and women who engage in it never tend to regain society's trust. If you are a widow or a divorcee, and your children are from that marriage, that problem will not arise. You will get all the respect of an honored wife from his family, and your children would be accepted and probably cherished. That makes total sense. There's not... There... The logic behind this is solid to me. We love children. But wait a minute. You didn't smash the bell and press the like button. Blast, 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 blast. That is the exact same way in Asian culture. If you were married and you were widowed with kids, you are much more accepted in society because you were still married. You, you didn't choose to divorce or anything. Your husband passed. 
many men will still be at your feet to marry you. But if you had kids out of marriage, or you're just 304 ing it up, good luck. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time.